Carrie, dear sister, you should be resting. Nah, I'm fine. Besides, it's a fine morning to look at the sky, even more so with this morning's news. What news? A big asteroid hit the shield this morning. Did you hear it? No, I guess my mind must be elsewhere today. Well, snap out of it. It's a beautiful day. And my baby knows it too. He's kicking like a creeper this morning. I think I should rest today. If you see Jermaine in town, tell him to come feed me. His baby's hungry. I'll be sure to give your hubby a swift boot to the ass and send him on his way. Hello, Julie. You know, it's odd. Nothing's been growing lately. Good day to you, Julie. Fine morning for a walk. Hello, Margo. Sure is. Hey, Zig, how's it going? Hello, Julie, and good morning to you. How's Carrie doing? I've knitted the loveliest baby outfit. I want to... <gasps> huh, that's the second one to hit the shield this morning. Very unusual. Probably just a meteor shower. I'm sure you're right, Julie. I just wish it weren't so noisy. I like my mornings quiet. Me too. Well, we should be on our way to the market. 
Maybe we'll see you later at the pub? Yes, do join us. I hear Angus has brewed up some of his amaranth ale. Amaranth ale? That sounds tasty. Maybe I'll see you there. Get up, Lard Bucket! You piece of crap! Move! I'm sorry, Julie. This stupid cow's blocked the way. Maybe try back later when I can get this. Good morning. We're indeed fortunate that our champion is also a vision of such stunning beauty. What a load of crap. Your pardon, Julie? Oh, that's quite a full car you got there. <laughs> yes, the creepers seem to produce more than they eat. Well, be sure and wash your hands when you're done. <laughs> oh, yes, Julie. Germain St. Germain, at your service. How's my girl Farron? Still eating up this year's crop? <laughs> hey, yourself. Shouldn't you be home looking after Carrie instead of playing with yourself? Um, yeah. I'm on my way to see her. I just want to get this hover bike working. I've almost got it flying. Well, when you're finished, fly home and see to your wife before she eats everything in the house. <laughs> okay, okay, big, tall, and mean. I'll go see her as soon as I finish here.
Hey, Tasha, have you seen Angus? Yes, he's downstairs blowing things up. Just look at this. He ruined my decorating. Downstairs? Okay. Oh, hi, Julie. How are you today? Angus, what the hell are you doing? Ah, Julie! Quick, cover your ears! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Julie, I need to make more room in the cellar to fit my kegs of amaranth ale, and I was just blowing out some rock. That was quite a bang. What are you using? Oh, Otto gave me some of these great detonators. Alone, they don't pack much of a punch, but mix them with something volatile like creeper dung, and you've got yourself an explosion! Here, try them out! They're a blast! Thanks. I swear, Otto's a borderline pyromaniac. Well, he sure knows how to mix a bomb! And now, I have more room for my nectar of the gods. In fact, we'll sample it tonight, and then we'll all go... Julie, thank heavens I found you. A swarm of strange pests are attacking everything at the creeper pens. We've cleared out all the creepers except Bessie. She's too pregnant to move. Please help me save her. What, am I the only one in town with a sword? Come on, before Bessie gets hurt. Okay, okay, let's go. You are some bugs.
Mommy? You're here. We're taking care of the cows out here. Bessie's still inside. Those vile creatures. You've got to. Ah! Here comes some more of those things. Take cover. Don't these things ever quit? Quick! Shut the door. Hey, wait. Jeez. Looks like I'm on my own for this one. Way to help, guys. You can come out now. Oh, uh, well, we were just looking for something sharp. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 